वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स अ रोड साइड स्टैंड बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट फॉर क्लास ट्वेल्थ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस ब्यूटिफुल पोएम लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोएट रॉबर्ट ली फ्रॉस्ट 1874 टू 1963 was born in San Francisco, California. He lived a life of contrast. His father William Prescott Frost Jr. died of tuberculosis when he was just 11, leaving a paltry $8 with the family. His mother died in 1900 of cancer. For most of his life, Frost battled with mental depression despite such a scourge that blighted frost he rose to be the literary and cultural icon of america winning prizes and accolades in plenty he won the prestigious pulitzer prize for literature four times and was made poet laureate of vermont he also won the american academy of art and letters gold medal robert frost's literary talent blossomed from his days in his school he sold his first poem my butterfly and algae to new york independent for just $1.15 He was so elated to get this money that he went to his sweetheart Eleanor to propose to her and press for early marriage. Despite the dizzy heights he reached in writing poetry, Frost had to contend with want, life as manual labor in the field and nagging illness. Robert Frost's poem Stopping by the Woods in a Snowy Evening has been translated to more than 100 languages and millions of students read it all over the world to savor its deep philosophical undertones for centuries to come frost name and works will remain enshrined in the minds of poetry lovers across geographies and cultural boundaries and now this is time for the theme the poem a roadside stand is the poet's plea for consideration for the simple people of the countryside whose lives have shown no progress he expresses his pain at their sadness and sorrow and seeks support and relief for them he hopes someone would work unselfishly for their rehabilitation and not exploit them He brings out the white disparity between the haves and the have-nots with pitiless clarity and humanity and seems to suggest that the economic well-being of a country depends on a balanced development of villages and cities. A roadside stand Its summary now we are going to do A roadside stand portrays the poor country people whose earnest desire is to rise above their wretchedness. They attempt to do this by putting up roadside stands and trying to sell whatever they can to improve their lives. But the city people just speed by in their cars and do not even notice them. And when they do so, it is with irritation at their having spoil the natural landscape with their badly written signs first very aptly portrays the country people's anger at the selfishness of the city dwellers for all they want is to attain the standard that they have seen promised to them in movies but which they feel is being denied to them by the present government they do not want charity and the poet makes it very clear 
that the donors are actually ruining their lives by calling these so called benevolent people greedy and beasts of prey they move them to countryside to live near theaters and shops and encourage them to live idle lives which will take away their peace and wits the poet feels pain on seeing the country people's intense longing for a better life and their sadness at the non fulfillment of their dreams when not even one car stops to inquire about the goods they are selling the city dwellers are projected as being involved in the own lives with no thought for anyone else the poem shows the heartlessness of the city dwellers through the poet's insane desire to put an end to the country people so that there would be relief from their complaints about the lack of of liftment of their lives the poem ends with the poet's remorse at these feelings when he realizes how he would feel if someone were to try to end his pain in the same way now here i have a list of different poetic devices figures of speech used in a roadside stand these are transferred epithet metaphor oxymoron alliteration and personification from the poem i have selected those lines and while explaining the poem also you will come to know the various lines which consist these words thank you let us read this poem first the little old house was out with a little new shed in front at the edge of the road where the traffic is sped a roadside stand that too pathetically plit it would not be fair to say for a dole of bread but for some of the money the cash whose flow supports the flower of cities from sinking and withering faint the police traffic passed with a mine ahead or if ever a sight a moment then out of sorts at having the landscape mouth with the artless paint of signs that with n turn wrong and s turn wrong offered for sale wild berries in wooden quarts or crook necked golden squash with silver warts or beauty rest in a beautiful mountain scene you have the money but if you want to be mean why keep your money and go along the hurt to the scenery would not be my complaint so much as the trusting sorrow of what is unsaid here far from the city we make our road side stand and ask for some city money to feel in hand to try if it will not make our being expand and give us the life of the moving pictures promise that the party and power is said to be keeping from us it is in the news that all these pitiful kin are to be bought out and mercifully gathered in to live in villages next to the theater and the store where they won't have to think for themselves any more while greedy good doers beneficent beasts of prey swarm over their lives and forcing benefits that are calculated to soothe them out of their wits and by teaching them how to sleep they sleep all day destroy their sleeping at night the ancient way sometimes i feel myself i can hardly bear the thought of so much childless longing in vain 
the sadness that lurks near the open window there that waits all day in almost open prayer for the squeal of brakes the sound of a stopping car of all the thousand selfish cars that pass just want to inquire what a farmer's prices are and one did stop but only to plow up grass in using the yard to back and turn around and another to ask the way to where it was bound and another to ask could they sell it a gallon of gas they could not they had none did not it see no in country money the country scale of gain the requisite lift of spirit has never been found or so the voice of country seems to complain i cannot help owing the great relief it would be to put these people at one stroke out of their pain and the next day as i come back into the scene i wonder how i should like you to come to me and offer to put me gently out of my pain so this is the time to explain you most of the things are already written here i have used various colors to highlight the figures of speech the little old house was out so the poet here says that there is a old house and in front of that there is a new le made shed it is at the side of the road where the traffic is moving fast and it seems like the roadside stand made there is requesting everyone it is not fair to say that the roadside stand is pleading for a piece of bread but actually the cause is to collect to get some money cash cash according to the village people is something that supports the economy and in a beautiful metaphorical way the poet has said the flower of cities from sinking and withering fame to so city money supports the economy so the same money these people also want to uplift their living standard so here it is not for the piece of bread they are getting enough but they want to improve their living standard the traffic passes and sometimes when they stop there it is just because they are unhappy with the landscape they find that the natural beauty of that area because of this road side stand is spoiled so the village people are waiting here with the things available in the village to sell these city people and get some money to uplift their living standard but they do not stop and even if they stop they dislike they say that it is just like spoiling the landscape of course because the villagers are not so educated so the signs like north and south these are also not kept in proper way so they the city people they dislike it they complain anyhow the villagers they offer the available things like wild berries squash these they have kept in the wooden containers and they request them to stop purchase those things or at least rest and watch the beautiful mountain scene they say that you have the money the village people they complain that you have money you can spend it but because you are mean you are selfish that's why you want to keep that money with yourself 
and angrily they say this and then they complain that we have not spoiled the scenic beauty as compared to as compared to what yes the trust they have the faith they have that the city people they will purchase their things and with that they will do some development in that area they will uplift their living standard so they say that the trusting sorrow is as compared to the scenic beauty is more important of what is unsaid here far from the city we make our roadside stand the city is far away from here and we have made roadside stand we are asking for city money to feel in hand we want that money to increase our living standard being expand and the city people the party in power the politicians whenever whenever they come for the votes they promise they promise that they will make our lives like moving pictures like the heroes how they live they do promise and it is the news that all these poor villagers they will be rehabilitated somewhere near the city next to the theater and store means near cities and they won't have to think for themselves anymore so their their lives will be different the living standard will be better because they will be close to the poet here says that though they will be living near the cities but the good doers these politicians are actually greedy the state brokers they will take their lands their big lands will be taken by them and the small areas nearby the cities they will get they will swarm over their lives and forcing benefits so in this way for the benefits of the villagers so called not real so they will swarm over and they will give them money that are calculated to silence them out of their wits and with that money which they have earlier not seen they will lose their wits and in this way those village people who were earlier doing hard work during the day time and taking sound sleep during nights now because they have lost their land just in the desire of living near the cities and uplifting their living standard so for the whole day they sleep and for the whole nights they wake up so this way their ancient way of sleeping at night will be destroyed and in this paragraph now the poet is trying to express his own feelings and that's why you can see robert frost has used i at many places so sometimes the poet feels robert frost feels myself i can hardly bear so when he thinks about all these things it is unbearable for him and the desire to uplift their lives it seems childish longing living like city people that is going to be in vain the sadness that lurks that is hidden near the open windows there waits all day in almost open prayer 
so they sit near their windows and they pray that somebody will come he will purchase something and with that money they will improve their life every time whenever there is a squeal of brake the sound of stopping a car every time when thousands of cars pass here transferred epithet is used for the car selfish word is used actually the people are selfish just want to inquire and their desire their request their plea sometimes is heard by these but actually not for purchasing those things it is for asking the way here the poet says just want to inquire what a farmer's prices are and one did stop so this was their expectation but when the one stopped he just plow up grass because he was taking reverse gear using the yard to back and turn around or sometimes there is someone who stops his car just to ask the way or sometimes in a very stupid manner some car owners ask for if the petrol is available gallon of gas is available so the villagers are angry they could not they had none did not it see that shop is for the grocery how can one ask about petrol there gas there no in country money the country scale of gain the requisite lift of spirits has never been found the earning for the village people that request their plead for uplifting their living standard has never been found and that's why the voice of the country the people the villagers they complain the poet here says i cannot help them to admit to accept the great relief by government which can support them by allowing euphemism here euphemism is mercy killing so for all their sorrows all their pains it is in a fit the poet says can be suggested that that will be the end of their pain but when the next day he comes back into the scene when he realizes he thinks rationally he wonders the poet says i should like you to come to me and offer to put me gently out of my pain so he says that i am too suffering i am too my heart is too paining to see your condition and if the similar thing when i am in pain you do with me then how i will feel he realizes so this way we have completed this poem and now it is time for question answers what was the plea of the folk who had put up the roadside stand so in this question you will write down what was their request what was the reason they had made that roadside stand notice the rhyme scheme it is consistent or is there any occasional variance so this poem is actually not a free verse there are so many issues the specific rhyme scheme also indicates his main concern when writing this poem was to reflect the villagers plight rather than merely merely embellish his poem the government and the other social services agencies appear to help the poor people 
but actually they don't do anything good for them so how you come to know this you have to write here the poet criticizes the poet says that they are greedy people they think only about their reasons so read this uh, these questions and uh, these are important questions prepare them properly and try to complete the questions given in ncert book i hope you have understood